Dr. Akiva Gumbel Belk, Dean of Jewish Studies at Benenoch Torah Institute, LLC. Welcome to Bereshit Lamud Zion. This is a study of Genesis chapter 7, verse 1 through 24. Our discussion is God's might as seen in the Gematria of 617, and we could also say 672. Our textbook is Gematria and Mysticism in Genesis. This is chapter 7. I hope that you'll obtain a copy. There is so much material that we cannot cover, and that way you'll be able to follow along more closely. Dear ones, today is supposed to be a day of Thanksgiving. And in a Jewish home, every day is supposed to be a day of Thanksgiving. So for those living in America that celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope that your Thanksgiving is pleasant and that uh, God is a big part of your Thanksgiving. However, I'm reminding everyone that every time we awaken during the night to get up, to use the restroom, to get a drink of water, to do whatever, we usually say, we say, oh, mighty God, we're so thankful that you've restored our soul to our body. And, dear ones, I can tell you, uh, with God's help, I have said this untold numbers of times when I wake up during the night. Sure, there's times we forget, but we're supposed to be very thoughtful of God and His presence and very thankful for what He's done for us. It's been a very sad few months in the Missouri area. There was a horrible situation that happened. It's not up to me to judge who is guilty, who is innocent, if every law was followed, if everything was done properly. I don't know. But I do know that in chapter 7 of Genesis, and starting in chapter 6, God said, My spirit is not always going to dwell with man, and that man's, his eyes, his way of doing things were continually evil. But in Genesis chapter 7, verse 5, we see the words, Noah could call Asher Tzifavu Hashem, that Noah did all that the Lord commanded him. Dear ones, when God created this universe, he gave Adam and Eve seven requirements. And one of those requirements was to set up a government, a system of laws for everyone to follow and to abide by. We can see that that has come seriously into challenge here in the Missouri area. There's questions about the conduct of the young man whose life was lost, and there's questions about conduct of the officer who took his life. Now, people are lining up on both sides of uh, this situation, and a great deal of uh, mistrust has been generated and, and seems to have built, and yet there's also individuals like myself, God willing, and like the Robinson, and then I hope that we're taking it this way, they're trying to reach out with a hand and say we've got to improve, we've got to do better. Now dear ones, 
God originally established these seven laws. And we have laws that govern us. But we know that one of the supreme laws is to acknowledge that there is a God. And we know that in acknowledging that there is a God, we also have to acknowledge that God is different than us. God is holy. God is separated. And we have to recognize that God sees everything. And that takes us to what David wrote. King David wrote, You have kept an account of my wanderings. Put my tears into a bottle. Are they not in your book? Dear ones, every accounting is recorded in a book that God has. 